Financial Discipline Proverbs 6 verse 6 to 8 says, Take a lesson from the ants, you lazy fellow. Learn from their ways and be wise. For though they have no king to make them work, yet they labor hard all summer, gathering food for the winter. Financial discipline is very important, and it's something the Spirit of God can train you in. Some don't realize they're not supposed to spend everything they get. Simple wisdom is that you spend less than you earn or receive. Otherwise, you could end up in debt. The response of some to this might be, What I earn isn't even enough. After paying my tithe, giving my offering, and doing other things I need to do, nothing is left. No, don't think or talk like that. First, understand that you're the seed of Abraham. Therefore, your financial prosperity is independent of how much you earn or the economic situation around you. You're an heir of God and joint heir with Christ. You're plugged to an unending supply. Thus, the idea of cultivating the habit to save isn't about keeping your money in the bank to accumulate interest. It's about discipline. Proverbs 21 verse 20 says, The wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends whatever he gets. You may say, what's the essence of saving a small amount? It's not going anywhere. Don't destroy it with your mouth. Never declare that what you have is small or not enough. Money is spiritual. It's not that coin or note in your pocket, wallet or bank account. Money has ears and can hear you. So you must learn to bless your finances. The issue isn't the size of your income but the size of your mind, your thinking, and what your faith can produce. Think about how much you might have received in the last one year, but then how much of it did you reproduce? If your answer isn't satisfactory, it's time for change. As long as the things you put money into aren't such that can reproduce what you put in and more, then there is a problem and it's expedient that you change things. God's Word imparts wisdom to your financial intelligence and discipline. So study and meditate on the Word more and you will always deal wisely in handling your finances. Let's take the confession together. God has given me riches and wealth and the wisdom to multiply them. I'm the seed of Abraham. Therefore, the world is mine. I lay up gold as dust. My prosperity is endless. I walk in abundance, having more than enough for myself and for others. Hallelujah!